Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module seven, lesson one. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says I can use benchmarks to estimate a sum or difference of fractions with unlike denominators. And the learning objective says use benchmark fractions to estimate sums and differences of fractions with unlike denominators. And the prior learning is that students compared fractions with different numerators and denominators. Students use benchmark fractions to compare fractions, and students use visual fraction models to justify comparisons. All right, now jumping into the lesson on page 149, we start out with a word problem that says Mrs. Fong mixes water, glue, and laundry detergent together to make slime. The amount of each ingredient is a fraction of a liter. So use a visual model to estimate the total number of liters of ingredients she mixes together. Okay, so over to the side here, we have our three different amounts that she gives us on the picture. So three eighths a liter of water, two fifths of a liter of glue, and one tenth of a liter of laundry detergent. We want to use a visual model to guess or estimate how many liters that'll be if we add them all together. All right, so I, my visual model that I'm choosing to use are my little fraction pieces. So my fraction pieces are set up and I'm comparing them to one. So my red pieces here, my one eighth is gonna be the three eighths of a liter of water. And notice there are three one eighth pieces to be the three eighths. Then my green is the glue. Two fifths, so I have two of the one fifth pieces. And then my one-tenth, the purple, is the laundry detergent. So if we see all of them working together, it's just about one liter if they're all working together, okay? So you can go ahead and draw that pretty easily. If I give my whole one, I know that my three-eighths is a little bit less than one half. So I'm going to do my one eighth here, my one eighth here, and my one eighth here. I also know that two fifths is also just a little bit less than half. So I can do my one fifth here and my one fifth here, and I know that my one tenth is pretty small. And again, it's not going to be perfect. I'm just estimating to show what the different pieces of the fraction are going to be. So this is what it would look like using a visual model showing that if I put all the pieces together, my estimate is about one liter if I add them all together. All right, so now we're going to flip the page to page 150. And it starts with a word problem that says, Mrs. Fong has some bottles of copper powder for science experiments. She uses 7 eighth bottle, 2 eighth bottle, and 5 twelfth of a bottle. About how many bottles of copper powder does she use? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and circle those fractions so they stand out to me a little bit when I have to go look back at the problem. So I'm going to say my 7 eighths, my 2 thirds, and my 5 twelfths, and I know that I'm adding them all together. So for A, B, and C, A says what expression represents the situation? And remember, expression doesn't have an equal sign. So just write out the problem, but don't solve it yet. For B, how can you use the three numbers, the three number lines and the benchmarks, zero, half, and one, to help you estimate the answer? So go ahead and put each fraction on a different number line for B. And then explain how did that help you estimate your answer? And then for C, tell me what your estimate is and about how many copper bottles will be used. All right, go ahead and solve those three problems and then come back so we can work them out together. All right, welcome back. So for A, what expression represents the situation? I'm just gonna be adding all three of those fractions together, but I'm not gonna solve it quite yet. So I have my seven eighths plus my two thirds plus my five twelfths. That's the expression to show the situation. 
Next, how can you use the three number lines in the benchmark, zero, half, and one, to help you estimate the answer? So the first one, seven eighths, is gonna be about here. Which benchmark is that closest to, a half or a one? It's closer to one, so I'm just gonna circle that. For the second one, I have two thirds, which is here. And which one is that one closer to, half or one? It's just slightly closer to half. And then for my last one, my 5 twelfths here, it's in between zero and half, but it is closer to half. So if you wrote something like, I put down my numbers to show which benchmark it was closest to and use that to add them together because I know that a one plus a half plus a half is gonna be probably close to two. Anything along those lines is absolutely perfect. And remember, anything that you see in the teacher edition is just one possible answer. As long as you're right around where it should be, that answer is most likely acceptable. All right, and then for C, what expression represents the estimate? So now we want the expression like an A, but using the new estimates that we just did. So the estimate I had for the first one was one. The second one was half, and the third one was also half. So Mrs. Fong used about how many bottles of copper? Well, I know that one plus a half and a half is gonna be two when I put them together. So my estimate is that Mrs. Fong used about two bottles of copper powder. All right, that is it for this lesson. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you back for module seven, lesson two.